water. We're made of this stuff. We also drink it, bathe in it, cook with it, grow food with it, clean with it, and use it in almost every kind of industry. Today, parts of the world are also running out of it as our planet warms up and new weather patterns emerge. That leads to political turmoil, to migration and talk of water wars. Making sure that people have enough water has become a global challenge, and there is a global technology ready to help. Satellite. It's the invisible technology that is indispensable to the way we live. Have you ever wondered how much water there is on Earth? Nobody knew until a satellite mission called GRACE found the answer. The GRACE satellites measure changes in gravity as they pass over the Earth, which lets them tell the difference between water, rock, and soil, and also measure how deep the water is. A few calculations later, and we found out for the first time how much of this precious substance we have. Most of the water we use comes from below ground, and satellites are helping us peer below the surface. California scientists have used a NASA radar satellite to guide the search for new groundwater. Another team uses satellite measurements of ground temperature to learn how deeply the water is buried. That matters, especially in developing nations, where many wells are dug by hand. Finding water near the surface can be the difference between life and death. That water underground is like money in the bank. You can drain more from it than nature can restore, just like writing a check for more than you have in your account. It takes a satellite to show the result, the ground actually sinking as the water is drawn out. As ground level sinks, it can permanently reduce how much water can be stored. Parts of California sank 13 feet during the 20th century until smart new policies gave underground reserves time to recharge. Water can also be too much of a good thing. Flooding kills more people than any other natural disaster but nations around the world now use satellite radar data to forecast flooding before it happens and make accurate maps to guide their response to disaster. The United Nations expects nearly 2 billion people to face water scarcity by 2025 and the occasional shortage to affect another 3 billion. As water becomes ever more precious, we will depend even more on satellites to keep it flowing. Brought to you by the Society of Satellite Professionals International and Boeing.